Vega 404 Soviet radio doesn't work. Let's try and fix it. I kind of like the way it looks. I don't think the quality is that great. Sort of 80s. Of course, it's just um, long wave, medium wave. So for us, AM broadcast band. Hoping this is an easy fix, however, these usually are not. Uh, looks like what would fit in here would be a, a six pack of double A's for nine volts. And there's a lot of disconnected. Stuff here. It looks like looks like all the headphone crap was bypassed, which I don't blame them for that. I wonder what this thing is. What the hell is this thing? What is that thing? Anyway, I powered it up. It's totally quiet. Someone commented in a previous video where I unboxed this that this IC goes bad a lot. Or can go bad. Pull the chassis up and take a look underneath. I love the way these are engineered not to have a dial cord to have to remove to service it. Oh, this is a separate piece. And I guess that would be a dial light. And that is the dial light switch, which is removed. We don't really care about that. Let's take a look at this. Wow. Looks like someone took their wood burner to this. Some really good soldering here. Now let's let's give it some Give it some power and see what it does. I do have the schematic. That's one thing nice about Soviet stuff. You never, ever struggle to find schematics. If you can't find them on Google, you find them on Yandex. The uh, Russian search engine Yandex. You can find this stuff really easy. Tortured. Well... Sounds like it's working now. And I'm only on six volts.
Vaxones, is that what she said? Bayer? Can't get away from it. That sounds like a bad speaker to me. Let's go up to the full 9 volts. Why does it stop working at 9 volts? Or does it just change frequency here? Hey, that sure sounds like a bad speaker, but it looks great. And there's no rubbing. It's almost like the voice coil fell off. The turns fell off the form for the voice coil. Grab me a, a speaker and we'll test it out and verify that's it. Of course, this is some weird metric thing that I'm not going to be able to get very easy. I think this chip is bad too because the thing is idling at 80 milliamps and um, it, things getting warm and you can see it's been replaced because originally the wings on the original one were soldered in here and whoever removed it removed it with a torch and a hammer. It's also not that loud I would expect Thing to be a lot louder also the freaking power switch is bypassed so the radio just runs all the time and the power switch seems to be working so I don't know why anyone would do that but yeah looking at the work that was done on this 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 right here R20 and R21 look like they're two 24 ohm resistors in parallel what what is this contraption I mean like really what is this I'm gonna move uh, this wire, the brown wire, over to 2 because 2 goes through the power switch, which was deleted. I don't want to get into soldering tutorial videos, but I see so much crap on social where they put solder on the iron and then they blob it on whatever they're soldering. I'm going to try and hold the camera in my mouth while the dogs bark at the blambulance and um, show you how to solder okay use two hands two hands it's a uh, it's a front and back motion 
You come in the front and you go in the back, something like that. See if I can do this. Did I do that right? Anyway, that wasn't very good. You can see the... At least I got the pin covered. Mas yeah. Ma, yeah. Importante. definitely think that I see is bad hear it crackling and breaking up it's almost at a hundred milliamps draw that's way excessive this is why you always want to watch your current draw on a battery operated radio I never write reviews, but Navaj is so amazing, I had to leave one. Nothing's ever cleared out my sinuses as well. I'm blown. Front office insider. For championship. The sensitivity is just meh. Purdy throws four picks today, and... Yeah, the sensitivity is like marginal. Let's get back to the Vega 404. It's been a while. Uh, I had to locate and order this audio output I see. And there's two different versions of this. There's a three-quarter watt and a one watt. And I couldn't find the three-quarter, so I got the one watt. And it came from uh, Lithuania. So that's why it took a while. Um, this capacitor feels like it's one lead of it's loose, even though it doesn't look like it on the bottom. Like the solder is not sticking to one of the two the two leads like this one is is just a cavity in there this capacitor was bad there were supposed to be uh, I forget now I think that's a 12 ohm there were supposed to be two 24 ohm resistors in place of this so I got a 12 ohm resistor I got that capacitor the speaker is bad so I got as close as I could which is a three inch speaker this is probably this is going to be metric but it sort of come on come out of there this thing was totally bad it, it sort of looks close you know i mean it's it's nowhere near the quality of this one if this one was good it's a little taiwanese half watt speaker i mean look at that Look at the difference. You know, I mean, compare that to this. It's like a cheesy toy. But anyway, I think we can fix this. I'm going to leave the dial light disconnected and the switch. I don't care about that. Um, so, yeah, we need to change this capacitor, change this IC, put this resistor in, fix this, and then get it wired up. Maybe bypass this switch. I don't need long wave. We're never going to have long wave. We've really never had anything on long wave, and they're not going to start putting it in now. Trust me. Wow, look at this. This is a homemade fuse. This is what was in place of those 224 ohm resistors. Try and focus here. See that little tiny wire there? This is a homemade fuse. 
Ah, uh, that's incredible. I almost hate taking that out because somebody made that. And that wire is like hair sized. Wow. Homemade fuse. That's incredible. This is why I think the IC is bad. It's drawing 80 milliamps just with the volume down and it's increasing as it heats up. When I turn the volume up, point out the booms, uh, the tough road with Gonzaga and top seeded Kansas both in their region. The big dad set to get underway, which madness is here. It's 11 25. Another check of traffic here. The current goes down when the audio is loud it should be the other way i think this is not like class a is it here are uh, replacement ICs. So this should be a, a one watt version of the one that's in there. So I don't know. We'll try it. I couldn't find anything different except the power output. But you think the thing would be different, but I don't know. All right, the new IC has been installed. Here's the old one. It has wings. Well, here we go. Let's power it up. And I'm not that familiar with this, these ICs and how they work, but that definitely seemed backwards. There are 861 in this country, and people get really hurt. If this happens to you, call 911 and then call Sweet James Accident Attorney. 125, 130 milliamps? Wow, 150 and climbing as it heats up, that just does not seem right to me. I mean, it's thermally running away. It just does not seem right. It should go down as the volume increases. I mean, I guess it, unless it's different because it's backwards because it's Soviet. Man, I don't know. Let me let me think about that for a minute. That does not seem right. Something something's wrong there. Well, I don't know. I'm a little bit stumped on this. I changed the IC again. I removed the electrolytics. I also removed these little red capacitors right here. These little square things like right here. These I know these will turn into resistors. And I'm still getting the high current draw, so I'm I'm a bit stumped on this. Maybe I need to try and find another circuit that uses this IC and try and figure out some similarities or, or what. Because it just can't idle at 150 milliamps. That's just not not happy. I don't know where I left off with the Vega 404. Soviet radio with the overheating audio output I see. Uh, I couldn't find anything wrong with the circuit. I ordered two replacement chips. Uh, there's a three quarter watt and then a one watt output. I got the one watt. I couldn't find the three quarter watt and it was doing the same thing. Drawing a ton of current, idling at about 100 milliamps, the IC would overheat. I started looking at the schematic here and then i pulled up the data sheet and you know i see data sheets always show you know user schematics and they both circuits they have they don't have pin one connected to anything here and down here it says it's supposed to idle at about 10 milliamps well it was idling at a hundred so what i did on our radio here's our radio schematic they have 
pin one attached to an 8.2K up to pin eight. I just disconnected this. And right here is that, this little red resistor. This is that 8.2K. And I disconnected that and everything fell into line and started working right. Are there any more of those red resistors in here, or did somebody add that on? It could be that, that somebody was following the schematic and that resistor was removed by the factory and they added it back in and it started to cause these problems. Now I don't see any other blank places here, but all I can say is the radio works right with that resistor disconnected. It's disconnected from pin one on the bottom. So I don't know. This is a bit of a trip. That homemade fuse that was here instead of the two uh, 12, 224 ohm resistors. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it's working now appropriately. A quick follow-up as I was editing the video, I decided, well, maybe I'll take a look and see if I can find a picture of the board. And this seems to be a, an extremely popular radio. So here's a site where uh, someone restored one of these. And what I did is I took the pictures here and I blew them up. And that resistor is clearly not there. You can see right here, R25. And it originally had a big heat sink soldered to the, the, te the wings that is missing on my set. So I'll, I kept searching. I found another picture uh, of one for sale on eBay with the guts. And this is a different one. You can clearly see this picture. The resistor is not here on this one either. And this one has the heat sink. So yeah, someone drove me crazy by installing a resistor that was on the schematic, but uh, not used in real life. So I don't know. There was probably, well, I'm going to say there was nothing wrong with the two original chips or the original chip and then I changed it once and then I changed it again. So it was all a part that was added that should not have been there that really threw me. A warning to drivers, thieves are now using a new tool to hack into cars through their headlights. It's a $2,500 device available online. Once it's plugged into a socket behind the headlight, it can open windows and unlock doors. Thieves are then making off with Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Toyotas, you name it. It takes them about 30 seconds. Wow. Headlights. That's unbelievable. Wow. That's crazy. By the way, have you ever had lice? Anybody on the show ever had lice? Folks tweeted it and was just like, oh, Kathy needs to do it. We'll take this out to the desert and try it, but I think it's pretty, pretty hot. Okay, that's the right guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the apps fail you, depend on the people you know. Last landing. Got a great question. Uh, Starting today for the Hollywood Writers. A15 traffic brought to you by Cal Hope, Jennifer York. Okay, I'm looking at this 210, and for some reason nothing's listed, but oh boy, we, it looks like we got something going on. Okay, so it, it's idling right at 7.5 milliamps. As soon as I hook that resistor up, it just goes completely nuts. So I don't know how or why. I mean, obviously, we know there was a lot of work done to this, a lot. So maybe somebody just, I don't know. I don't know, because that resistor is an 8.2K, and that's what it says right there, R25. R25, so I don't know. Maybe the schematic's wrong, but if you go by the schematics on the chip data sheet, it fixes the problem. Uh, I think I should delete this switch while I'm in here for reliability. Florence, 
Firestone, that area. For the Eastern Interchange at South 5, that's going to be slow out of commerce down to... Okay, so Vicky barricade situation off of Sunset and low... This is the long wave, medium wave switch. There is no long wave. So, I might, I don't know. See what I mean? It's just going on DC. Join Sunset, and that's fine. It works. Three three one seven four six seven three or live chat at calhope.org. All right, I just deleted the switch in place. I just bypassed. I just jumped over. You can see there. I used a piece of wire uh, to go over the top of that, and and yeah, it's just manually put in uh, medium wave or AM broadcast band so because I'll never use it in long wave so I might as well make it reliable in the band I'm going to use it okay so this radio works pretty good it gets KNX and then it gets 1090 right above it new possibilities for their website they turn to american .com. good luck american any problems with gambling you call 1-800-GAMBLER see you at seven miles <laughs> so that's that's Baja California, basically, let's just call it Tijuana. KEIB Los Angeles. This is the Patriot. AM 1150. Broadcasting throughout the Southland. Escuchen. Espian pasado. Trying to find K Mozart. I think I got the radio turned the wrong way. I need to. There it is. Uh, it's pretty much peaked up. I don't know about the IF. We're out in the middle of the mountains in Nevada here. We have some radios that I've worked on and I'm going to do some testing. Joshua trees, so I'm at about 5,000 feet elevation or so. 5,500. And... I can pick up, I'm about 100 miles from it, I can pick up uh, KYET AM Stereo 1170, we've covered that station a bunch, classic country. So... I'm testing these radios I've repaired, uh, and this is the true test of performance out here, away from the strong signals. And this is the Motorola. There's separate videos on all of these. I'm just going to make this one video to kind of cover all of them.
It's a pretty weak one right there. Pretty hot radio. Little disco. Wow. Sorry, Vega, you ain't got the performance. That's all the way up. And this is aligned and working right. So, sorry, Vega. And you're a 9-volt radio, too. No, wait. Yeah, I'm on 9 volts. Yeah, definitely, I'm on 9 volts. Yeah. You suck. There's no contest. This one, city radio. It's not going to even get anything else. Let's let's try this one. This one is uh forget this is another Soviet one. I did a restore video on it. It had a Selga, I think. Let's try the Selga. Looks like we got a couple good music stations out here. Yeah, we got a couple good music stations here. Of course, KYET is out of Arizona, and maybe we're getting Bullhead City. Okay, so, so far this one's winning, uh, then this one we resurrected, then this one, then this one, this web core is a little distorted, whatever. Then this one is the bottom of the bunch. I think I got one more. With light to moderate wind. We're at the train stage. I'm Brianna Cernat for the live and local Camry Broadcasting Station. Oh, yes, they need me some Zell jams. This one works okay, it's just very noisy. This one has an FET front end and a chip. Uh, I I don't know the untouched the untouched Ranger with the corrosion in it that I got for five dollars at the swap meet is kicking ass. So, hmm. 
what to do, which one to take on this backpacking excursion. Because this one's light, that one's heavy, that one's definitely heavy. This... Yeah, it's going to take it 68. Nope. The majority of the deserves the best nutrition. This is definitely a good performer, this web core. These always need capacitors. I should get the SDR radio and see if it'll pick it up. For official camera broadcasting contest rules, visit this station's website. Now more music and more intelligence for your life. It's the John Tesh Radio Show, K-Star 99.3 FM. Oh, I wasn't even on KYET. I was on K-Star. Awesome. We got two killer radio stations here. And the neon sun comes up in the You know what? Stereo would work here. It's strong enough to where I could get the AM stereo signal. Bummer, I didn't bring a... I don't, I don't have one. I need to send the one I got back to V-West Life. I just haven't got around to it yet. I could have brought it, but... Anyway, um... So there you go. There's our, our performer. So... I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to do this. This is number 1. These two are number 2. This is number 3. This is at the bottom number 4, city radio. And I am sure I got that hooked up to 9 volts. Yeah, I got that hooked up to I'm actually a little over 9 volts. That's pitiful. Yes, the SDR will get it. So that means it's pretty strong. Bummer. Should have got should have got a stereo radio. Could have had classic country and stereo. Forgot I had this little Sylvania AM FM. And this does not get it on AM at all. Nothing. You can hear it's alive. I would actually expect this to be a little better than that. Try FM. Janet was the president of the Boosters Club for years. Good on FM, just completely deaf on AM. Maybe there's something wrong with this thing. Eh. See, but it seems to work fine at home in the city. That's that's the thing, man. You need one of those what do they call them? Those chambers where you that's covered with the copper screen that's a you can control the signal strength in. 
you'd probably still get signals in the middle of LA even in one of those things so yeah This is an interesting station. It's out of Mexico and it's playing all classic rock. Ooh, Roxy Music Avalon. Yeah, this is out of Mexico. Nighttime DX. There's, there's no overlap. They let one song run completely. God, I hope we're not starting to lose it. I was, this station's a lot of fun. Maybe it just went to reduced power. No, it's there. I can hear it. What is this, Alan Parsons? It is Alan Parsons. This is Alan Parsons. And I don't think the algorithm will be good enough to pick this up with all this noise in it, but I can. Alan Parsons produced Pink Floyd, The Wall. This is called I, Robot by Alan Parsons. Okay, I don't recognize this yet. Oh, God. This is like 1960s style dancing to crappy AM radio out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's see what's next. This is... I don't know what color your eyes are, baby, but your hair is long and... Who did this song? Who did this song? Your eyes are baby, but your hair is long and brown. Your legs are strong and they're so, so long. so weird how it completely fades out and there's like a break between songs. Right. 
We're losing it, man. I was hoping to get to a station ID. God, who is this? I don't want to... I don't want to lose you now. We're losing it. It was good for about 30 minutes of good times. Right at Gray Line. So, it's kind of coming back in now. We might be able to get a station ID at the top of the hour. 8 p.m. Back to the music now. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Um. This is a really wild mix of music. Is it Cindy Lauper or is it uh, Expose? 
this is a really wild mix of music for a radio station out of Mexico. <laughs> Would you expect anything less? I could never love again the way I loved you. I don't know. I, I think we're I think we're off. I don't think it's either one of those. Here we go. Next song. Ooh, Dan Fogelberg or Christopher Cross. Dan Fogelberg. We are in the doctor's office now. This is like the dentist or the doctor. This is Dan Fogelberg. And you're rolling soft in the doctor's office. Did you get it before me? Okay, this is pure torture. No. Oh, it is. We belong. We belong. We belong to the... Pat Benatar? Pat Benatar. Yeah. This radio station's a long way away. A long way. Because KTNN comes in better than this. I'll give you a little 360 of where we are out here. Hiked up on one of the peaks. This is where AM radio still kicks ass. AM covers this. I got my little Soviet radio here. We should see how KYET is coming in. <coughs> Although it really doesn't matter because it's low frequency. It gets down in the valleys and everything. Let's see here. There you go. Come on, show us some activity. It could be very old. Its head is kind of coming out a little bit. Man, that's so cool. <laughs> Maybe. I don't even know what a tourist track looks like. Well, there was something like a tail. It is a living rock. Maybe it needs some hot stuff, then it would come out of its shell. That could be arranged, you know. Yeah. It is very camouflage. 
it moves very slow and it lives a long time Hold on, don't. It's being live streamed for your social media pleasure. Yeah, it won't walk, whatever.